we are happy to have Janice Dean with us. If you watch Fox News in the morning, you have seen her on Fox and Friends. And I've heard you've been called the nicest person in news. <laughs> Who told you that? My mom? <laughs> Everybody loves you. In fact, you wrote a book, was it last year, called Mostly Sunny, about being positive, being happy, be, being inspiring. And I think that we need to hear that message now, probably more than we have in a while. You know, Nate, I, it's interesting timing because last night I think I had one of the biggest sort of emotional breakdowns that I've had so far. Um, and I was watching a video on Twitter. It was a beautiful video. It was a, a father and a daughter and they were singing, um, You've Got a Friend in Me. Mm. And for some reason that just really hit home and um, I, you know, started to cry and I was on Twitter and I was like, you know what? I know I'm the positive one and I'm always trying to be mostly sunny, but sometimes that just doesn't work. <laughs> you know, we have to be sort of open to sharing what we're going through. And I, I just wrote something very simple to the effect of, um, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time holding it together just in case someone else out there is feeling the same. And this morning I woke up and I, all these amazing, beautiful messages from people, you know, strangers saying, you know, we're all feeling it, but we're all together. And so as much as I try to be mostly sunny, I also try to sort of show that we're all human. And being on television sometimes, you've got kind of a veneer, a facade of always happy and always sunny and everything's great. And but we're really in such a challenging time right now um, and everyone's feeling it. So I think it's important to kind of connect with people that way too. And it's amazing that you got positive messages on Twitter because a lot of times those messages can be nasty and horrible. Yes. And sometimes yes. you want to turn it off because it's so ugly. It's true. And it, I've had that, you know, um, you have these trolls that come out in full force that that don't have a picture to their name and they like to just you know they're obviously miserable in their situation and they just want to you know share in their misery um and that's tough but i would say for the most part um people are kind you know and maybe that's because i try to be um you know mostly sunny most of the time and whenever i see someone that's being unkind, you know, I'll try to call it out and say, you know, go troll somewhere else. This is, this is a sunny space, you know? So Twitter and social media can be very difficult, but I do think we are, there are moments of connection there. And I certainly felt that yesterday. Yeah. So how has it, how has it been for you? You've been working from home for what, a week or two now? No, more than that. Oh, I, I left early. Um, it was the first week of March oh, wow. and yeah, I'm compromised. So I have multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed back in 2005. So I'm one of those uh, people that can be susceptible to flu illness, that kind of thing more than others uh, because MS is a, an attack on the, the, human, you know, the immune system. It's an immune system disorder. So I actually went to my bosses and said, I'm getting anxious. I have anxiety and I'm concerned that, you know, that I might get this more readily than someone else. And they were awesome. They just said, listen, do what you need to do. Go home. We'll figure it out. Um, you just be with your family. And listen, I've worked at Fox for over 17 years. They know what kind of worker I am. I'm not just somebody that's going to like hang it up. So, um, and they are also respectful of my health and my family. So, um, so they said, go ahead. And then, you know, just a few days later, we were, we were doing, um, you know, hits via Skype, uh, about good news stories. So I'm still technically working, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but yeah, I left weeks ago. I've been home for probably about a month now. And what are you doing to buy the time? Well, my whole family is here. You know, my husband's here. I have two children. They are nine and 11. So they're right into the homeschooling. And, and uh, that's been, you know, that's been quite an interesting challenge, the homeschooling. But um, this morning we did some of the work. We were scheduling it. Like we're getting them up 
uh, at a certain time, we're making them get dressed and brush their teeth and eat breakfast. And so we've got sort of a schedule. My husband and I kind of trade off because he's still working as well. He is, uh, he's a firefighter, New York City firefighter. He is not in the field. He works um, with the counterterrorism uh, center uh, with the FDNY. So his job is mostly putting documentation out of um, some of the work they are doing with the COVID-19. So he's been home. Um, he might get called out. I mean, that's a possibility and we'll have to face that when that happens. Um, but so far, you know, we're just, we're trading off. We are really um, working together as partners. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, um there are so many people paying attention to what's happening in New York with the hospitals. And, and I mean, that's ground zero and it's just, it's scary to see. And, and we don't want to downplay what anybody's going through at all. And, and our hearts and our prayers are with them. You've been through, you mentioned MS. Would you say that that's been the most challenging obstacle you've had to deal with in your life? And, and what advice or counsel could you give those watching about pushing through this and getting through to the other side? You know, I did a story the other day about climbing mountains, you know, the, doing that climb, not only figuratively, but, um, not only, you know, re in reality, but figuratively as well, like climbing a mountain and then getting there. And then that's where you see the best view. Um, I kind of think of that when it comes to a chronic illness, that there's certainly challenges and there's a climb that we face, but it also brings... Um, a better sense of reality and perspective. So I was diagnosed with this 15 years ago. Um, at the time, I was all about career and New York City and, you know, rising, you know, to the top, so to speak. Um, and then when I was given a diagnosis, I realized that that wasn't the most important thing. Certainly, it, it, it's, it's wonderful to have a great job and a career, but um, it's, you know, there are other things that are more important, our health, our family, our relationships with others. Um, so I sometimes think that the MS in a way was a gift to me to sort of like prioritize and realize what is important. Having said that, of course, it's been challenging. Um, you know, uh, I've been relatively lucky in that throughout my diagnosis, um, I've had great doctors and I've been on, you know, pretty good um, therapies and medication. Um, and I'm trying to take care of myself the best that I can. Um, but again, it also puts everything in perspective that each day is a blessing. And each day that I'm able to get up on my two feet and, you know, and hug my kids, that's a blessed day. Well, for those of you watching, if you have some time, which a lot of us do now, pick up Janice Dean's book, Mostly mm -hmm. Sunny. It, it is inspiring. It'll help you get through it. You'll probably read through it pretty quick because it's a, it's a nice uh, easy read, uh, not easy read, but good read. No, that's a really good compliment, actually. People that tell me it's an easy read, that's that's one of the best compliments you could give somebody. Yeah, and a, and a lot of stuff in there that you may, may not have known with, with your career, you know, coming from Canada to, to the United States. Janice, have you ever been to Idaho? I have not, but I'll happily take an invitation. <laughs> okay, Yellowstone's like an hour away from here. It's closed right now. Uh, before we go, I have to ask you, how do you like your potatoes? Oh my gosh, we just had potatoes last night. They're my favorite. Yeah, do you have a spe baked potatoes, mashed, fries? Do you, do you like them a special? All of the above, Nate. Okay. Well, if you come on over, we'll fix you some potatoes. Thank you so much for chatting with us. You can catch Janice Dean every morning from home lately on uh, Fox News Channel, and then hopefully you'll be back in the office. Are they saying May 4th, or at least that's kind of the hopeful date? We're hoping. I mean, we're hoping early May, but, you know, we've just got to go with, with what the experts and the scientists are saying, and uh, we'll be able to get through this. We just have to be patient and be, be kind to one another. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Janice. Oh, Nate. Thank you, my friend.